What's up, everybody? Happy Wednesday. Hope all you're having a great day so far today. Getting into this episode of GH, um, I enjoyed this episode. I enjoyed the funeral and, you know, the memorial service that they had for Bobby. I'm glad, you know, that Tracy and Lucy put their feud to the side for at least one day because I'm like, you know, it would have been tacky for them to be fighting at somebody's memorial. <laughs> that would have been very tacky. So I'm glad that they put that shit to the side for the day. Um, it was good to see Lucas. It really was. It was it was wonderful to see Lucas. I really wish that some more focus would have got put on him. Because this is, you know, and I'm not even bashing Carly or nothing like that. I'm just saying I feel like a lot of the focus was on her. A lot of the condolences was on her. You know what I'm saying? It was towards her. You know, even though Laura approached her and Lucas and stuff like that, I just feel like a lot of it was on her. You know, and Lucas should have got more airtime. Like, I really don't know what's going on with the actor who played Lucas. Like, I don't know if it was, if it's his idea not to be a part of the cast or was it their idea to drop him or whatever. I don't know what, what the situation is. But I really wish that Lucas was back on the show full time. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of story there for him, especially being a doctor. You know, it's a lot. He's the next generation Jones, you know what I'm saying, to be a part of the hospital. And I think it's a missed opportunity to not have him a part of it and not to explore his relationships and stuff. Not only just, you know, amongst people in the hospital, but his family, his, you know, his, his relationship as far as like a life partner or a new spouse or something like they need to explore that with him. It sucks that he's back burnered, you know, or he's just not there anymore. It sucks. Um, cause I feel like there's a lot of potential for story with him. Um, but yeah, it sucked that, you know, a lot of these people got to eulogize or I'm probably saying that word wrong. Um, <laughs> but it sucks that everybody was able to give a eulogy or not everybody, but certain people were able to give a eulogy, but Lucas wasn't speaking. You know what I'm saying? Lu like Lucas wasn't able to go up there and talk. That was his mother too. You know, I feel like he, he had a right to go up there and speak. Um, so I don't know what the deal was with that. But I did love his scenes with Felix and stuff like that. It's always good to see Felix. But see, that's what I'm talking about. Felix is another drop character that they only bring out for funerals and certain occasions and stuff like that. Felix is a very interesting character, to say the least. He's funny as hell. And I wish that they would explore these characters more. You know, this character development. Like, all these people work for the hospital. You know what I'm saying? This is General Hospital. Like, they should be utilized. Um, I love the little, you know, the eulogy that um Laura gave and stuff like that it was beautiful um Scott I know everybody up in there was shocked that Scott Baldwin didn't have shit to say <laughs> like Scott didn't have much to say like and I know it was hard for him and I get it you know what I'm saying because I would be the same way like you lose somebody that you deeply cared about and stuff like that it's kind of hard to put their life into words you know it's kind of hard to put your feelings about that person into words and sum it all up in a matter of moments you know especially when there's a 40 plus year history there you know what i'm saying like it's hard to do so i totally get why he tried to keep it short sweet to the point i totally get it but i, I agree with scott like bobby was definitely a force of nature she knew a lot of people um celebrities she knew a lot of people <laughs> like bobby got around not in a bad way she got around, but you know what I mean? Like, you know, she was friendly with a lot of people from Richard Simmons. You know what I mean? Like, just cool with everybody. Um, I also enjoyed Liz's um, eulogy and stuff like that that she gave. I loved it. Um, I could definitely see Liz, you know, morphing into the next Bobby or, you know, having a, she being a hybrid of Bobby and Epiphany. I could see her doing that because she was heavily influenced by both of them. Not only them, but her grandmother as well. You know what I'm saying? Like she was heavily influenced by these people. So I could see a lot of them being a part of who she is, her makeup and stuff. So I think it's cool. Um, I loved it. You know, her eulogy was it was beautiful. Um, Carly's her eulogy was nice. My only issue with that is her saying, oh, like my mom made me a better person. I'm like where <laughs> you know then talking about how her kids are like bobby or something i'm like who <laughs> none of her kids remind me anything of bobby like when i look at michael i look at jocelyn i don't think bobby at all i for me i just don't um but yeah her eulogy was cute and stuff like that and whatnot um I love that, you know, Alexis and Christina were there to pay their respects. And it sucks that we didn't get a lot of flashbacks. You know what I'm saying? Of Bobby's life. Like, Bobby had a very storied 
history on this show. So it's crazy that we don't get a whole bunch of floods of flashbacks. Cause I think we only got one in this episode, and that was, I think, of Alexis talking with her or something. I think that's the only flashback we got, if memory serves. Um, but I love it, though. You know, her and Christina was paying respects because, you know, about their history and, you know, about Christina's history with domestic violence and how Bobby, you know, was part of the people, one of the people that helped her get through that. Um, so it was beautiful. Um, I love that Liz is going to do a new sign. I guess she's going to paint a new sign for uh, Kelly's or whatever. It was kind of funny because I'm like, what was the purpose of that? Like, do the show, like, do do Kelly's, is that their way of redesigning the sign? Because I thought it was kind of like an odd thing to have the wind kind of blow the sign off or whatever, or knock the sign down or whatever, and it break. And, you know, because it was the old sign. You know, they never really changed that sign from when, when Ruby owned the place. Um, so I thought it was pretty nice of Liz to offer, you know, to do a new sign for Kelly's as her tribute and stuff to, you know, Bobby and whatnot. I thought that was beautiful. Um, it was kind of crazy, though, how they were able to get the actress who originally played BJ, like who played BJ as a child. That was crazy how they got that actress. And she definitely looked like Bobby. To me, she definitely, the actress looked like she could really be related to Bobby. That's the crazy part. The resemblance was there. But I love how they, they brought her in as a reporter and stuff like that. It was shocking to me that that's why Bobby was out of town so long. It wasn't just because of Luke's affairs. She was trying to help bring down a human trafficking ring. I said, oh, shit. I was like, okay, Bobby. Like, she was trying to save some girls and stuff. And she saved a good chunk of them. But it's just one that she couldn't save. Or that she didn't have the opportunity to save. So, I love that Carly and, you know, Felicia are going to go to Amsterdam and wrap that up for Bobby. You know what I'm saying? That would be a beautiful tribute and stuff to honor her mother's memory by helping that girl. Um, and I love that, you know, Maxie got a moment to talk to Angela and stuff like that. And, you know, offer to help her with her story and stuff that she was working on for Bobby and whatnot. And, you know, get her in touch with a lot of people who Bobby helped and whatnot. To help with her article. I thought that was pretty nice. And I thought it was beautiful too. That Maxie got to actually sit with BJ in a way. You know even though she's playing a different character here. But it, you know what I mean. Um, so I thought that was pretty beautiful. That was nice. Um, Felicia was taking it very hard. About Bobby's death. Like Felicia just been putting on the waterworks. These last couple of days since Bobby been gone. Like she really loved her some Bobby. And she really want to honor Bobby. And I love it. Um, so I think it is good that she's going with Carly to Amsterdam because Carly gonna need some backup. Because when you're dealing with human trafficking, you don't know what you're dealing with. Okay, you're gonna be dealing with a bunch of dangerous folks. You don't want to, you know, you can't go out there by yourself. And Drew sitting there talking about, oh, you know, I should come with you. Drew, sit down. Don't nobody want you going nowhere with her. Go sit down. See, that's what I'm talking about. He always so quick to leave town or go do something. Why don't you go spend time with your child? Like, sir. Go spend time with your kid. Like, I haven't seen him with Scout since he's been back. Like, damn. He always so quick to go jump up and go do something. Like, why don't you go jump up and go be with your kid? But then you want to get mad because Sam making decisions now. She should she should be making decisions every day of that child's life because you sure as hell shouldn't. Every, every time you turn around, that's all he think about. Oh, I should be there for you. Oh, I should be there. How about being there for your child, Debbie? <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, I would go crazy on him when it come down to child support. Like, I'm just saying. Um, But yeah, I thought it was beautiful. You know, of course, Trina and Spencer were there to pay their respects, you know, and be there for Jocelyn, which good friends should definitely be doing. And I'm glad that they were. Um, Willow, of course, popped up for the funeral. Um, I'm, it's, It sucks that Monica couldn't be there, of course, but Monica wasn't feeling too well, which is understandable, but it sucks Monica couldn't be in attendance. Um... But, of course, you know, Sonny and Sam and Dante showed up and whatnot. I thought it was beautiful. Overall, I thought the ceremony was gorgeous. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I can't wait to see some of these Amsterdam scenes, though. You know, and see what's going on with this trafficking and whatnot. That, I think, is going to be pretty fun. Um, that It was a particular scene. Where Maxie was talking about she keep having like dreams or little flashes of memory of Tony listening to her chest after BJ's heart got implanted in her. That was a really beautiful scene. I thought, you know, her talking about it and stuff like that. Her having those flashes of memory, even though we didn't get to see that. But it was beautiful for her to talk about it. 
um, which I thought was pretty cool, pretty dope. Um, I am glad, though, because my girl Tracy came in clutch, you know, with some information. Because even Tracy felt like Bobby was up to something because Tracy was like, well, shit. When we was in Amsterdam, Bobby used to sneak off and stuff and go to this little cafe down the street from Luke Place. And she felt it was odd or whatever. So, because I, I always wonder, like, what was taking Bobby so long to settle these affairs of Luke's? And now, boom, that's why. So, I thought it was a beautiful thing. But, um, yeah, I totally enjoyed this episode. It was definitely a tearjerker. It was emotional. Um, but I thought it was nicely done. Do I think every TV funeral can be better? Of course. But I thought this was a nice little send-off for her. Um... With that nice little surprise of Angela, a.k.a. the real BJ, I enjoyed that. Um, that was a nice little spin. But um, anyway, that was pretty much the whole episode. Hit the comment section, let me know what you all thought, and I will see you all later. Have a great night. Peace.